What's up y'all? I want to talk about flying splits today. You don't have to have a beautiful splits practice to do flying splits. Flying splits is balance on your hands, but definitely it's a stacking of your joints. I think the biggest misconception I had about yoga when I first started was that you had to like be an acrobat to get some of these poses because they looked crazy to me when I first saw them. But as I practiced more, I started to realize that it's all about stacking your joints. You literally create a foundation in your body and then the rest of your body kind of floats. The other things that are extending out become kind of weightless. Flying splits, it's the same. It's the same as some of the other videos I put on mountain climber. That's a great, very similar pose. You definitely wanna have your shelf, which I've talked about, and that is bending the elbows, stacking wrists below your elbows, biceps and triceps squeezing into your side body. As you shift your torso forward, your legs kind of start to float. A not so splitsy flying splits kind of looks like, like a mountain climber actually. Have your leg here, then extend it out, bend in your elbows, shift, Forward. That is um, a flying splits practice that you still need to warm up with. Like just like with everything else, you want to make sure your wrists are warm. You want to make sure you've done some chaturangas, you've done some sun A's, sun B's. You have definitely your hamstrings lengthened out because flying splits. I mean, we need that hamstring flexibility, right? But also, you know, hip flexion is you want to extend through your hip flexors, your psoas. Pretty much anything that is gonna be in a splits practice. A way to warm up would be like, you know, take your half splits. Or if you have a full splits practice, full splits. Whew, not quite as warm. You wanna just kind of make sure that you're nice and warmed up and you've lengthened out the things that are gonna be working. And definitely your wrists are working. They take the weight of your body, so it's important to have them, you know, stretched out. And you can do things like rolling out on the, um, keeping the wrist connected, but rolling the hands. You can have your fingers down, press your palms down onto the earth. Um, you can take that backwards. All these things are really great ways to stretch out your wrists. So if you want to take it a step further, and I'm just going to walk us through that one more time. Let's come to a down dog. Left knee, left tricep. Bend your elbows back right tricep. Very important that the opposite elbow, the one that's not supporting your leg, is drawing in to your side body. If you have this elbow out in space, which as you get more advanced, you won't necessarily need to have the arm supported, but in the beginning stages, it's really, really helpful. Even just to have it drawing in like as much as you can. So that's all part of that shelf that I talked so much about. So you can be here, extend the leg out, shift forward, back foot lifts. If you have a solid splits practice, you know you have the flexibility to come to a low lunge. Left hand, I'm doing it on my left side, left hand will come to my left Achilles. That gives me the ability to then take my shoulder underneath my knee. From there, hands will plant, right toes will tuck, back knee will lift. My right elbow is kind of hanging out right now, so I want to draw it back in. Both of my elbows are kind of squeezing in. My my forearms are parallel when I look at them. Okay, from here, I'll wiggle this left foot forward and start to extend it straight. Then I'll shift into my hands, back leg will lift. And that's, that was a little exaggerated. As you can see, my torso is kind of leaning quite a bit towards the earth. You wanna try to keep your torso lifted up so that your shoulders are not dipping forward, but they're lifting up. Those are some very quick, like helpful hints and tips for a flying split practice. If you have questions, if you wanna know more, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to elaborate. I hope that was helpful. Mwah.